To be honest, we would probably be 50 and had we not taken the action we took, or luckily took, know anything anymore or anything about it other than the fact we're probably very, very sick. So we have predictive testing done each year, so we go, and you can only really get this done in, in London, we found, for predictive testing. That's things that you, you can't get it on the NHS. It is looking at you and your body, your bloods, and seeing if you have a propensity for any or d any illnesses in the future, basically. So basically what happened was we went along and they looked at our blood and they looked at different things, enzymes and things like that, and they saw that our liver uh, enzymes were very high, which they couldn't understand. We were very fit and healthy, keep ourselves in decent shape, and ended up going having to go back about four or five times, I think it was. We had multiple blood tests. Liver biopsy. Liver biopsy. I, I, I had a liver biopsy, um, which isn't that bad. So if you ever have to have one, don't worry, it's not bad at all. Scans, MRI scans, and they found, yeah. In the end, diagnosis. basically, ended up doing some genetic testing and found that we have something called hemochromatosis, which the reason we're actually talking about it now is it's a lot more common than you actually think. I think one in 30 people actually have it. It's just mostly undiagnosed. So what happens is you cannot get rid of iron the same. So you store up iron. So over a number of years, particularly for men, obviously, because men don't get rid of iron monthly like women do until they hit uh, menopause age, basically you store too much iron and that can be very very bad for you can end up with a lot of, lots of different diseases and actually like mark says what happens is you don't find out until you're sick and it's about 45 55 yeah, that type much. of age when you've had enough time to develop or to accumulate that amount of iron that they actually find that there's something up with you and by that stage it's too late. It's very simple to treat really once you've found out, it's just the finding out that's the, the tougher part. Uh, we have to have what are called venous sections basically every quarter, every three months. So you just give blood. Give basically. blood basically to remove the iron from our bodies. And you and, just keep it checked. And we keep it, keep it regularly in within certain levels and we're absolutely fine. We have no more issues, we'll have no issues as long no. as we keep that going on. So it's something we then obviously got our whole family checked and funnily enough it was actually only us that ended up with the right genes to have it, obviously we're identical twins, so we ended genes. up with it, but it's like I said, it's, it's a lot more common than you'd think and I think, and you're probably going to get loads of doctors, you know, giving us loads of abuse, but I would say worth being checked for, you just simply have to ask a GP to do a genetic test on you, very simple, worth doing, I'd rather find out that everyone didn't have it than know that people weren't getting tested. I'd rather you get tested just because it was something we would not have found. You'd have thought we were very healthy people, and we are, and we live very healthy lives, and that would have caused us a lot of issues later in our life, despite doing all of the right things at the age we are now.